in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Untie me, untie me, untie me, untie me, untie me, untie me, untie me. And Jesus, untie me. Jesus, untie me. Jesus, untie me. Jesus, untie me. Untie me, untie me, untie me, untie me, untie me, untie me, untie me. Father Lord, untie me, untie my people as you untied and loosened Lazarus who died four days decaying in the tomb and you came restored revived enlivened and untied him I ask the Lord to untie my people who are tied in down in these articles man made tie down man made articles invoking demons into it to ravage our human society. I stand against them in Jesus' name. They cannot prosper in their evil plots. They cannot succeed in tying you down. I'm taking my time to reveal these things to you. For those of you still indulging, having reliance or faith in them, it is unfortunate. They are not your brothers or sisters. They are not messing for you. They are not for your good. They are not working in your interest. All these things are geared towards deteriorating you, deforming you, destabilizing you, decomposing you. They are not for your good. It's meant for your destruction. So, anybody relying on those foreign gods? Sorry, this is foreign to us, foreign to our souls. Because God did not create us. God did not create us to do what? To imbibe in all this. God is angry. Do you know that we are sons and daughters of Abraham by faith? We are the lost tribe of Israel. And because we are disobedient to God's commands, we were given to these fetishes. God allowed us in our stubbornness to perish in our stubbornness. We need to make extra efforts to ask God to revive us. We are going into oblivion, into a total annihilation. Let us ask God for revival. It is because we have rewarded wantonly that God gets angry and pushed us out to die in our stubbornness and headiness. It is time we compose ourselves and ask for God's forgiveness, ask for God's restoration. See, these articles like this, there are some of them harbored by you by your fathers or forefathers or kingdoms or kindreds, you find these things. They are setting our clock back 100 years. You will never know. I am telling you the truth. God says in Exodus 20, now in short from 3, verse 3, Exodus chapter 20, verse 3, down to 6, worship no other God but me. Make no images like this. And here you have created these things for good. Look at, to show you, we are people of Israel. I took this from part of, I took one from Nsuka here, and got one from Anambra. But now, do you know what the meaning of this in the scripture? Do you know the meaning of it in the scripture? God was turned into a, a calf. And God was angry. This is again where the Israelite of today turned God into a calf. 
They turn God. This is God. They worship. If you see a big house built for this thing, big house, that was huge one, bigger than this, but my car could not lift that one. I had to break them and took this small one. You see how people turn the image of God, the glory of God into an animal. Go to that Exodus 32, you will see how the image of God was turned to the mere animal, creature, like calf. Till today, we turn the image of God to this. And God is angry. You recreate God. Man recreates God. That's why God was angry in Genesis chapter 6 verse 10. He says, I regret creating man. God regretted creating man because of all this fetish. Look at this one. Man and woman, they are equally pregnant. Equal pregnancy. This is what they used to do some people. You start to have swollen tummy, swollen tummy. This is it. Man and woman, equal in breast. And this is the genealogy of gay, the genealogy of man and woman and uh, are equally pregnant. You see it? It's a sex spirit, Ashmodeus spirit. They visit man, they visit woman in the dream. They sex you. They, they can turn into a woman, they can turn into a man at the same time. Ashmodeus spirit. That one that was driven away from Sarah. Ashmodeus spirit. They visit many girls today. They visit many men today. I am severing that relationship you hold with them in the spiritual realm. And when they visit you and sex you, or you sex them, oh, sorry, you will contract a kind of venereal disease that looks chronic. And sometimes they poison you with that. They can even transfer HIV through that channel. So, and I am standing to fight against them that are fighting against you in the name of Jesus. I break this curse. I break this spell. I break this witchcraft. I break this occult kingdom. I break this native doctor. I break this deity in the name of Jesus. So, any Ashmode spirit, spirit or sexual immorality that is projected to, to you through this shrine, through this deity, I cancel it, I dismantle it, I disorganize them in Jesus' name. Look at what they tie there and call this a God. If it is your God, it's not my God. I pray for breakage. Look at this small pot. They call and call you into it. This pot was killed, used in killing kids, children. You see, spear. This spear will fly and hit you. It will cause cancer. All this. They are well tied and hooked with blood. They are hooked with blood. Cannot come out. So anywhere you are tied, anywhere you are hooked, I'm going to break that channel in Jesus' name. I am breaking that pot where they have invoked your name. That pot where they have invoked your name, I am breaking it this afternoon, this morning, this night, this noon. That they have no right over caging you. They can't cage you. They can't cage you. They can't cage you. Say amen. See now, as I drop this pot, as it's breaking, so your chains are broken. There are so many chains. Let me show you another one. Look at it. It is people are the ones locked in this thing. Look at how old it is. I started collecting this thing 20 years ago. People we say we're not progressing, we're not anything, we put her, nothing works, and all this and all this. This is it. Your fathers and forefathers are doing all these things. And you grew up and started doing the same. What is God telling us? God who kept you alive from childhood. Now you have grown, you have got money, you have got wisdom, knowledge, you are now a big man. Then you start looking for another God to protect you. 
when the other God who have been protected is told you that he's no longer strong or capable, why are you then looking for other gods? Look at what people used to protect them and kill themselves. They invoke many names into this. When they have done this for you, they, dis they dry you. By the time you die, you become stroked. You don't know you are tied down. Look at it. Cowardice. Then this keys lock your star. We don't know. It is not what you tell these native doctors to prepare for you that they do it. If they see your star, they will take it. And they are there rejoicing that they has made charm for you to be uh, Nigeria, West Africa, and Africa, and then world limited. Who told you? They, have not, they haven't enough to eat, let alone giving you. So be careful what you do. The natives, no longer, most of them are dupes. They no longer have enough. So they knew what they used to train their children. I told you one story. The other time, I met one of them. I said, look, man, you are not too old to do this. You should resign. You should love God. You should come and worship God and drop all these things. Do you know what he told me? Father, what you are saying is true, but let me tell you the, 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 the truth behind my own. I said, what is it? He said, look, I train my family. I have three wives and they have all children. The least one has five children. Where will I train them? That it is by this practice that I feed them. I said, no wonder. Oh, you see, he understood it that way. He understood it. <coughs> so for you, you see, you can understand. As I break this thing, your yoke is breaking. Your chains are breaking. That's it. All the things they are known for have been broken. You can never be held tied. I stand against the powers of darkness, the witches, the wizard, the cultic influences, manipulations, and power, domination, sovereignty, and authority that are oppressing you. I come against them. Anywhere they have chained you, it is broken today. Say, I claim it. Say, I claim it. You cannot remain in bondage. You cannot remain in chains. You cannot remain tied down. Anywhere they invoke your name, fire and thunder will pursue them. Amen. Thunder and fire. Thunder and fire. Thunder and fire. Thunder and fire, thunder and fire, thunder and fire, thunder and fire, mm. thunder and fire, 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 thunder and fire will pursue them infinitesimally. Whatever they are heading to, they are hiding or hibernating. I send thunder and fire to excavate them, destroy them like the days of uh, that D. Lawrence of America who wanted to challenge the resurrection of Jesus Christ and was sliced into four and thrown east, west, north, and south. This very hour, anything buried in the name of anybody watching me now, in the name of any good person, in the name of a child of God, in the name of a daughter of God, son of God, any part of the world where anything is buried or chained against them as I break this pot so the chains on them are broken in the name of Jesus they will claim it at this very hour and I'm telling you their businesses will expand their home health will restore all of a sudden mysteriously, miraculously things will become well again and turn around for their good because they have been chained, they have been tied somebody in prison cannot progress we imprison ourselves. Oh, let me tell you once more. Listen now. D do you see? I will tell you more about this one. They use it in making strokes. All your nerves, nerves and everywhere will just be, be clicking. Now, listen. There are too many people 
This is a full coffin. Full coffin. I took it from a native doctor's shrine where he invokes dead people. He to lie down on it as a dead man and invoke himself out and come back. When you want to kill people, you put images and then be invoking the names of people on it. He is a finished human being too. Listen now, as I open it, you may see yourself. When you see yourself here, you are a dead person, no? but God will redeem you today. Say amen. God will save you. If your name, your family name, and the picture and the image or whatever is invoked in any shrine for sudden death, every year somebody is dying. Every minute, every time you are going home for burial, that will stop in Jesus' name. Those who are doing those things, committing it, be it spirit or human, will go into this box themselves, not you again, not your family. Say a bigger amen. I am standing here to cancel every manipulation. I am standing here to cancel spirit of death hovering over you, following you about, following your business, following your family, every time you're crying, every time burial, every time waiting, every time nothing is moving, people are dying. The youngest, the oldest man in your family, around 50. The youngest, the oldest man will be of my age. It is not correct. The oldest man in your family from now will be ranging 80 to 90 and 100. Say, I claim it. Psalm 118 verse 17 says, I shall not die. Say it after me. I shall not die. Say, tell your neighbor, you will not die. Yes. God did not mean us to die young like that. We have to finish our mission. If Jesus didn't finish his mission, if there are delay in his mission, he wouldn't have died. Remember there was a time Jesus was pushed to fall from a cliff. And once it is that moment, they wanted to push him, they got bemused. Because Jesus had not finished a mission and nobody can do it. This kind of mission I'm doing, you cannot do it. You are not called to do this. Everybody has a gift. So I am opening it. And as I open it, all the souls invoked into this coffin, casket, will be flying away. Even your own will fly back. You become healthy. Anywhere they have used the coffin, whether big one or small one or medium one, I am releasing you in the name of Jesus. Receive release. Receive release. Receive release. It's a full coffin. See them. These are people. When they want to kill, they use this one for their children and some occult pull down, pull close. See it. When they want to do this, they will just put that is the sword and looking for the shirt. Yes. Let me pick it. And you see, <clears throat> and call your name. Start calling your name. They will just hear it. Pam! And they are finished somebody. See it. Or the children, or they invoke your name, invoke your name. Anywhere they invoke your name, I cancel it. All the sword they use against you to create sickness and darkness in your life, you can never be full, invoked again. P 
pinned again, stabbed again, or shot in the dream. The shootings they do cannot penetrate. The sword cannot penetrate. The hitting cannot penetrate. Anything they do will bounce back on them from now on. Watch it and see. They have placed you on ground and climbed up on you. Now you will turn around and climb on them. You cannot remain caged. You cannot remain. They cannot invoke you. Whether your brother, your sister, or your mother, whoever they invoke into this place will be free in Jesus' name. Look at it. They used to invoke children. Invoke children, invoke grown up. They have middle people. They invoke middle ones. So, anywhere they invoke you cannot walk. Let the souls of all the people put in this casket be out. Those who are crippled, those who are stroked, those who are suffering in one sickness or the other because they are in the casket of death in this coffin. Father, Lord, any part of the world they are invoked on any shrine, I release them in the name of Jesus. You cannot die. And you will not die. And you will never die. Look at it. They block all kind of things. See? Where they start tying this one, nobody knows. I just want to, want to tell you that you don't rely on these people. They are not your friends. They are not for your good. They are not blessing you. Go to God who will bless you. Okay, read, read that section for me. Come on, read. Um, get uh, Exodus, get Exodus 28, verse 34, and see why. And see why. See. See why. See. This is uh, the, 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 the tortoise back. The tortoise back. So to slow you down. Tortoise back. Deuteronomy really? chapter 28 verse 64. Yeah, what does it say? The Lord will scatter you among all the nations. You see? From one end of the earth to the other. When the Israelites became stubborn, the Lord scattered them. And there you will serve gods made of wood. You see? You begin to serve God made of wood. You see? The word of God is wood. And stone. And stone. Gods that neither you nor your ancestors have ever Gross. worshipped before. Did Abraham worship this thing? Does Moses worship it? We are genealogy. If you link us, we are, no matter we are black, it is the son of Africa. And Africa is the harbor zone of Jesus Christ. Africa saved Jesus Christ. So that's why we are here representing Jesus. We are still in diaspora. Yes. Africa harbored was the asylum. When Herod wanted to kill Jesus, Joseph and Mary took the child, ran overnight. Three days they were in Egypt. Egypt and Israel were very close. And they ran there. And had. That's why Virgin Mary is called Mama Africa. Mama Africa. That's our mother Mary. So he ran to Africa. So Jesus was a refugee in Africa. And that's why we are still here. And because we left the true God, we have no choice than to bend to wood and all that in order to replace it. But it's divine. It's not replaceable. So let us plead with God to go back. I will tell you what God will tell us today. Yes, go down. Herero. That sister for law. You will find no peace anywhere. Is it? Have we found any peace? No peace. Not homeland. No place to call your own. Psalm 35 says, if I forget you, Jerusalem, let my right hand wither. Is it? We are forgetting God. Our right hands are withering. We are restless. We are hopeless. We are worshipping this as gods and all this. Because we erred. We erred. We should go back to the God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the living God. 
that's the God that our forefathers worshipped, no matter who we are. We stood away because of our stubbornness. We refused to adhere to the God's commandment. Go back to Deuteronomy 28 and see it. That we heard, and so God gave us over to our stubbornness. Now, let me tell you what will save us. Go to Exodus 23 from verse 24. Exodus chapter 23. That will save us now. And this is what I'm doing here. I have started the job. And we have to cleanse the whole Africa. Cleanse our home. Cleanse our body. Retrieve all the things that the enemy has taken away from us. And go back to our God of gods. The eternal power. The source of energy. The king of kings and lord of lords. El Shaddai is his name. Mighty battle. A year, a share, a year. I am who I am. Woo! Jesus. Read it and see how we are going to get back. The only salvation we have. The only way out. Go ahead. Exodus 23 verse 24. Yes. Do not bow down to their gold. Do not bow down to their gold. This is what we are bowing down. Our present fathers and brothers and sisters have taken to these nonsenses. This is where we are. This is where we are. Go ahead. Or worship them. And do not adopt their religious practices. You see, we have adopted it now. And call it ATR. We have adopted it. How are we finding things easy? We are relegated. Yes. Destroy their goals and break down their sacred stone pillars. Can you, do you understand that? Destroy their gold and break down the shrines. If you do this, you get light. If you try this, if you try this, go home now. Go to your shrine dismantle it so that the light of God will shine on you. So that you will prosper. So that God will retrieve his anger and rot against you. Against our people. Against our nation. Go ahead and read. If Go you ahead. worship me, the Lord your God. Wow. Listen now. I will bless you with food and water. Listen. When you knock down these things, reject them, I will give you food and water you can never lack. And take away all your sicknesses. You see it? We are suffering all kinds of sicknesses. We are suffering it. You see it? We are suffering all kinds of sicknesses. Jesus said, this corona is as a result of the world abandoning God. This corona, the world abandoned God. Then, malaria has to baptize itself and upgrade itself and then <coughs> turn and Go to vote, vote baptismal name and confirmation name at the same time. And that is why we are doing that. And everybody is shouting, God, God, and is mellowing. If the world will turn around now to God, he will heal us in a twinkle of an eye. He did that to the Israelite. When the snake was biting and biting and biting, and he did what? He said, okay, Moses interceded. I said, okay, now, go and make a golden serpent. Now, whoever looks there will be healed. And the no kind of medicine they do not apply to cure the, the, the venom or the, or the snakes. No way. But as soon as God said, okay, lift it up. And they lifted that. Nothing more. Just look. A mere look, you were cured. So, mere look can make this corona vanish. If we can turn back to God. I'm telling the whole world this story. I'm telling you this truth. We are deceiving ourselves by serving all this God, man-made God. Now finish up the reading and tell us what God is still promising. In your land, no woman will have a miscarriage. You see, miscarriage is without children and barrenness everywhere. I will so, give you long lives. Long life, long life. Now, you see, we now die like fowl under age. On that age, every time, that, 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 no old people again. This is a generation without old people. The corona even has finished up the whole thing. That if he jams an old person, that's a finished matter. So we are, we are crying that people are dying, the early young sorry, and he came and started wiping from the remaining old people. That means, a world without aged people. Who will tell all the stories of the ancients? Let us go back to our God and receive life, water and food to eat. Knock down these altars as I'm doing them now. 
non benta. I kept all these things so that I teach you these things. They are vanity of vanity. And this is where the anger of God is sourcing up. We are using this. Look at Ashmodeh spirit you call your God. God of agriculture. God of fertility. But it's God of seduction. God of Ashmodeus. Spirit dream. Husband, spiritual wife, spiritual husband. That is killing many young boys, young girls. Especially as he intrudes and introduces himself through pornography. Now, go back reading again. Read, repeat that very section and see what God is commanding all of us today. Repeat it before I give my final prayer. Yes? Do not bow down to their gods. Do not bow down to their gods. We are now in a foreign country. Don't bow down to any god. That is not God of Abraham. God of uh, 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 Isaac, God of Jacob, the living God. Or worship them. Don't worship Do them. Do not adopt their religious practices. We are adopting all these things. Destroy their gods and break down their sacred stones. Oh them. my God. Destroy their gods and break down the ground. God has everything. Lock them down. We say, say, destroy it. That's what God is telling you. Destroy it. Shit. Destroy it. We don't spare it. So this right. Look at it. This is what we believe. He said this right. Can you destroy us today? Let us be liberated. This is tying us down. Look at it. It's tying us down. It's killing us. This is where you and I are. We are not moving. We are not progressing. I am carrying on the campaign today. Let there be a crusade that we reject this, that we look for God. The whole country of Spain came out and bowed down before God. In Italy did the same thing. And so many countries, America, they all called on God on this corona time. And God answered. God melodied. it. Can we all turn around today? I'm speaking from far end of the world. Listen to me now. Let us call the divine, the main God. Go back to Exodus 20. Whether you are Christian or not, believe me, if we can call down the mighty God of today, we will know that our God liveth. Our God liveth. Not these things. These things are invoked. Demons are invoked into them and they come and distract us. Serving the living God. I am serving the living God. Mm. Serving the living God. I am serving the living God. Are you serving the living God? I am serving the living God. Serving the living God. I am serving the living God. Amen. I don't know which God you're serving. These are dead gods. You need to serve a living God. God of Abraham. God of Isaac. God of Jacob. God of ancestors. They are our ancestors. No matter where we are. No matter our location. No matter the color. We are hooked to that Abrahamic blessing. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. I am hooking you, even though you are dishooking yourself. I, I you dislocate, but I relocate you. I hook you up to the stream of blessing of Abraham. You don't know what you are doing, but I know you don't know what you are doing. Just like Jesus said, "Lord God, my Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing." I know you don't know what you are doing. I have, and you whether you like it or not, begin to be hooked. Be hooked to Abrahamic blessing now. Now receive your blessing. Now receive your blessings. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So at this very hour, I know that our God is doing something in your life. And you cannot go empty-handed here. You cannot go empty-handed. Amen. 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 So all we are saying now is that God has finished it. 
that spot of the Bible, forget it not. Exodus what? 23 verse, verse 24. To what? 24. To, tw to 25. Yeah. Yes, you can see. That do this. Simply do this. Let me bless you. Do you know the hand, hand of God is hanging? God is hanging, suspending his hand of blessings upon you. And they are busy doing all this. He said, bring them down. Tear them. Reject them. And I will lower down my hands of blessing upon your head. Hallelujah. Amen. So, pick it or reject it. The ball is in your court. The hour of grace is here. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Receive it. In Jesus' name. Amen. Pray with me. Prayer 35. Breaking of spells. Tap rooted curses. Through the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, our curses are broken. Amen. God said in Genesis chapter 12, verse 3, that He will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. Lord, curse all that curse me in Jesus' name. Amen. For you have decreed so in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible tells me in Romans chapter 8, verse 1 to 2, there is no condemnation now for those who live in union with Christ Jesus. For those laws of the Spirit which bring us life in union with Christ Jesus have set me free from the law of sin and death in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus Christ, thank you for freeing me and my family from spells and causes resulting from sin in Jesus' name. Amen. I am about to close and tell you that God has already blessed you. Now, my prayers here today has reached you no matter the distance, and distance is never a barrier to God's blessing. Yes. You have received it. You have received it. Just believe that. Get ready for your testimony. Anywhere they are concocting anything in your name shall bounce back on them. Amen. The chief priest will be restless and will die a sudden death because he's invoking the holy name, and the holy name is inside you, and Jesus is inside you. And to call Jesus on a shrine is a death for the chief priests and the agents. They don't know. That's why they thought suddenly. They try to invoke holy people. And appearing, it becomes a bundle of fire. Explosive fire and bomb that will devour them. They cannot escape it. So I'm telling you from today, you are covered in the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. You are covered in the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus you are covered in the blood of Jesus. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Take note. Always read that psalm, the spell, against the spell, the one I prayed now, 35. Okay? Also join it with Psalm 113, rising from zero to hero. Also pick that prayer and then join it with Psalm 27. Do not be afraid. Thousands pursuing you shall stumble and fall, and you will rise and stand firm in the land of the living. You will see the blessings of God in this life before next. Just what God is doing, he has raised his hand of blessing upon you. Make a choice now. Break the iron, break the gods, break the shrines, break the charms, throw away your charms, and rely, rely on God. And you will see the miracle of God descending upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. As I'm about to fold, listen. There are scammers everywhere. As I'm talking right now, some people are slotting. Let me tell you. Some people are slotting some things. You see, I don't know. Some agents of devil are existing. Instead of listening to this preaching I'm doing, how to repent, they are involving themselves in more dangerous things. They are marching towards hell. For instance, some people are there putting their account number, their own account number. Can you imagine that? Amen? Amen. Their own account number. Sorry. It is um, unfortunate. Now. The, uh, our own account. Our first one. Okay. Write it. Now. Right. Some people said. 
Can you imagine that? Okunere adoration, account number. I didn't give that. They gave the account number. I gave their bank. They're all here. The other one says, inquiries stroke prayer lines. I didn't give them that. I will call my own at the end. Let them keep on giving their own. The other one identified or cloned their own as Okunere Secretary Account Detail. Okunere Secretary Account Detail. But the real name is uh, Utsalo Friday. Utsalo Friday. It, it, it may not be his real name. He co coded it. So, and they make a lot of demands on people. You pay this, you pay this. Some people put their own account number, put their phone numbers. I didn't give them that. So there are scammers everywhere. Be careful of them. There are agents of demons. They are the kind of people that believe in all this, that create all these things. They may be angry that I'm exposing them, but I don't care. You didn't create me. I'm going to expose you more, for the devil should be exposed. Amen? So, listen to what I'm saying, that all these account numbers for this page, they are not my own. I didn't make them. I will tell you my own now. Listen, on Sunday, we shall be celebrating Mass for you. Today, Thursday, we are giving the information about this to open your eyes and say to pray at the same time as we are talking, we are praying. Uh, on Tuesday, online prayer at 8 p.m. in the night, Nigerian time. Sunday, 6.30 p.m., Nigerian time. Thursday, 9 a.m., Nigerian time. So, if you can free yourself, you free yourself. Let me call my own there. You see, we have, they, they, they said their own is Okunerele, I mean, Adoration Ministry. So he didn't say Okunere. So if you didn't watch well, you might think, say, he's Okunere Adoration Minister. Adoration Minister is nothing. Nobody is Adoration Minister. You must hook a name. So they deceive people by that sharp, cunning thing. You may think he, he, he slimly forgot it, no? Then the other one wrote, I am Okunere Secretary Account Detail. He gave his own. The other one say Adoration Minister. The other one say this, that, and so many times. So don't be deceived. I didn't give those. Now listen to my own account because of these people. Otherwise, we have no need of that. Take it in case you have the necessity to partner with us or whatever reason. You want to buy a book or our books, this one, like Thunder and Fire. You can use Okunere Charity and Care Mission. Account number. Two zero three five four nine five eight seven three. I come again. Two zero three five four nine five eight seven three. The bank is First Bank. First Bank. You can even see it in the screen. So, uh, it's no point. I only called it to confirm that what you're seeing in the screen is ours. So, that they will not deceive you. Then, other numbers you can call for prayer lines. Our prayer lines. 080-3590-6640. Again, 080-3590-6640. 6640. WhatsApp line, uh, the other line, you can use it WhatsApp, the other one, prayer direct lines. The other direct prayer line is 080 Then WhatsApp line 081 Six six zero eight five one seven nine zero eight one double six zero eight 
0815-5179. Everything is clear. Once again, I, I thank God for you for being patient to follow in what we are doing. You are going to learn a lot and it will help you in all this harassment you are uh, incurring from the hands of all these people, mesmerizers. May God continue to bless you and strengthen you in Jesus' name. Amen. And so may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. See you on Sunday evening.